Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we will be going over how to complete the side quest A Tree That Stands Alone in Mingyun Village. Let's get started. Alright, so the quest actually starts right here at this old man. He's a ghost. Just talk to him and uh, accept the quest from him. First thing we're going to do, kind of see this destroyed house with the uh, orange floaty thing up there. Grab that while you're here as well. Inside is a book and that is our first step. We're going to interact with that. You can read the whole thing if you want. But point is, it leads to the next parts of the quest. We have three, or no, four places you need to explore now. Drop down to the, the, the water down here, and uh, there's a mine you have to explore. It is currently blocked off, but obviously there's an explosive barrel with a man, or well, a creature just kind of dancing around it. I didn't have an archer, but mages work as well. Kaboom. Rocks are removed. Head on inside. Chest. Noctil Noctilus jades whatever they're called but you're here really for that piece of paper right there grab that grab the rest and head out next head up here to this location in the, the village another mine that we will be going into most of these are mines head on inside break any of the things that you want any of the ore that you want honestly just grab it all you're going to need it anyways remember that a great sword or an explosive really helps break those things uh the ore veins a lot quicker than a normal sword um, and then the piece of paper is right there, so you investigate it, and that's the next one. Third one is here on the map. Um, you're going to have to go through a little bit of water. I thankfully have the water astrologer mage, so I basically can just run right over water. Um, so go on in, follow the path like this, through the water here, take a quick right, and there's a chest. Uh, next to the chest is the note, the will, the whatever it is. Investigate it, grab the rest of the loot, and head on out. Now head to the fourth and last one, another mine. Again, break any of the ore that you think you'll need, or just break it all, honestly. You'll need it all eventually, just take it all. Run along the path. Next to this ore back here, you will find the last note, which will reveal the treasure, which ultimately is right above this mine. I don't know if that changes depending on what order you go on, but grab all your stuff and head on out. Exit the mine and basically climb up the path here. Water lady goes fast, but she does get stuck on rocks. That is her downside. Once you get up here, kind of investigate the area. Eventually you'll be ambushed by some treasure hoarders. You know what to do. Just Another beat them down. The I like to use the specials, quite frankly. I like to co combo everything on these fools that are grouped up like this. Water and electricity? Yes. Thank you. Finish them off and then... Head to the tree and you'll see the shovel there. Interact with that location. You will get a, boy, a super good chest, I think. Luminous or something? Precious chest and an achievement. Open it up, grab your stuff, and the quest is completed. Congratulations. All right, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, gators.